Hey guys, this is Ricardo of the Superman of Real Estate. And today we're actually doing a final walkthrough on a new home. So let's go check it out. Welcome in guys. Let's check it out. So this is actually a final walkthrough for a new home. It's a little bit different than a normal traditional home sale, but we're actually gonna show you what it entails. The new home walkthrough is actually a little bit different than the traditional home sale walkthrough. In the new home, you're actually gonna get a blue tape from the builder or the representative, and they're gonna tell you to walk around, and if you see that there's anything that is not in the condition that you want it to be in, that's when you're actually gonna grab a blue piece of tape, you're gonna rip it off, and you're going to apply it in the location where you want them to fix it. Blue tape is usually for paint touch-ups or anything that you want the builder to fix. So this is the actually the first walkthrough that's performed. After this, the repairs will be completed and then there's actually gonna be a second or a final walkthrough. So this is like the initial walkthrough to make sure that all the stuff that we want them to fix. And then the second walkthrough, that's actually when it's gonna be the final walkthrough. And an example here. So on this piece of granite, there is actually a crack. And you can actually see it right there. So this blue tape indicates the new home builder or their team or their construction team that they need to fix this. So it's just an example, but throughout the home, I usually like to come with the homeowner and I'm involved in the blue tape massacre, I guess you can call it. But you go around and then if you see anything that needs to be touched up, that's when you actually apply the blue tape. So when you come to the builder and you qualify for a home that they're building, you would initially go to the gallery mall or to the gallery mall that the builder has, and you're gonna choose all of your upgrades. If you wanna choose like your cabinets, flooring. In this case, my client actually chose to have the tile go out all throughout the first story. What type of padding do you want on your carpet? What color cabinets do you want in the bathrooms? What type of granite do you want? My client here, uh, she wanted the double oven, so she actually picked that as well. And then also like my client, she loves black and white, so she picked all of the walls to be white, a complete empty slate. But that is the reason why we come to the, the first walkthrough is to make sure that the colors that she chose are in the home. And if it, anything needs to be changed, that's the time that we're actually, we notify the builder that it needs to be changed. But luckily, everything that she chose so far is actually in place. Uh, we just need to do the touch-ups now. All right, guys, let's go ahead and check out the upstairs. So you guys just saw I walked by a bunch of little pieces of blue tape. So all this is indicating is that there needs to be some touch-ups done to the paint on this side. So as you see, this one is pointing out this, this one's pointing here. So that's what we do in the new home build uh, walkthrough is we walk around and we just make sure that whatever needs to be touched up, it's gonna be notified to the new home builder. So in a, in a traditional home walkthrough, you actually don't get to get the blue tape. You make sure that the repairs that you ask for have been completed. And in a traditional home, you also just make sure that the property is in the condition that you, you saw it in. And then make sure it hasn't been vandalized, make sure no one's broken in, uh, make sure that the major components are still up to date and that have not broken down in the last minute. So that is one of the reasons why we do a final walkthrough on a traditional home but this one's a little bit different. This one you have brand new roof, brand new AC, brand new foundation, brand new windows. And I actually just found out this today, this actual home builder has been top of the line for 12 years straight on energy efficiency. You guys, welcome to the master bedroom. This home actually has two master bedrooms, one downstairs and one upstairs. My client actually wanted a double master since she's actually a little bit sick from her legs. She can actually stay downstairs and then her husband and the kids can actually take the upstairs. But as you can see, there's also blue tape over here. And like I was mentioning before, it just indicates to the new home builder where there needs to be touch-ups gone uh, by the new build. And actually, my clients are actually downstairs and applying more tape to different areas where it needs touch-ups. So now we've actually just walked in into the master bathroom. We have double sinks, 
they each have their own uh, separate sink area they also have medicine cabinets and then you actually this one has two walk-in closets they're pretty cool the big one's going to be for the wife and then the husband's actually going to take the smaller closet that's usually how it happens uh, but i wanted to explain to you the warranties that it has as a new as a new home usually all of new home builders will give a total of one year complete warranty on the home let's say with time within six months the home starts to settle and then there'll be a couple of hairline cracks along the drywall or maybe outside on the stucco because homes do settle with time they'll start to move a little bit so you'll have some drywall cracks so that is the time that you get to go back to the builder up to a year. And they say they prefer it to be towards the end of the year. So that way, if there's anything that's new towards the end of the year, so instead of going over and right away telling them, hey, fix these uh, drywall cracks at the third month, and now they're gonna have to come back for the other cracks that come out during the 12th month. So they prefer till the end of the 12 month time, for you to call them and tell them, hey, these are the stuff that we want you to do. So you have one year complete warranty for everything, the AC, the roof, uh, windows, whatever needs to be done on the house, you'll have a warranty on. Almost every new home builder also has what's called a 10 year structural warranty. Let's say something major were to happen on the property or to majority of the home in the area, that would be the structural side and they have up to 10 years of structural warranty. Now, every other appliances, let's say like the AC or the water heater, you would actually have some warranties from the manufacturer. Uh, usually what they like you to do is go and grab the serial number and go ahead and register the product that you have, whether it's the AC, the water heater. And then as soon as you register it, the warranties kick, start to kick in for those separate appliances or the AC and stuff like that. On a traditional home, you do not have any sorts of one-year warranty for anything major on the property. Usually the seller, well, maybe not in today's market, but in previous markets, the seller used to pay for what's called a home warranty. It's not gonna be as extensive as the new home builder warranty, but it will cover your AC, your water heater. Those are probably the major components that go out, especially here in Vegas. And that's why I love selling new homes because you do have the new home warranty, the one year and then the 10 year structural warranty. And then on top of that, your new home, your AC is not gonna go anytime soon, your water heater, your foundation is in good condition, the roof, your plumbing. They use the latest technology, like I said before, this home actually has one of their number one builder in uh, providing home energy efficient homes for 12 years straight that's actually pretty cool so that's one of the reasons why i love new homes as well but then you know the traditional side you do get to pick once you come in you can repaint it you can do it the way that you want a lot of the new homes you won't have as much land as, as a traditional home if you look for a, a bigger lot usually new home builders don't put half acre lots or three quarters of an acre lots so that usually we'll find more in the traditional side. And then also they don't come with pools or jacuzzis. On the traditional home, you do, you do get to choose. If the home has a pool, then you can get a pool with the home. But those are the differences between a new home warranty and the traditional, just a home warranty on a traditional home. So you may be wondering, what is the process of buying a new home? It's one of the simplest process there is out there for buying a home the first thing you have to do you have to go to the new build office you go in there and you sign in and if you do have a realtor if you're working with a realtor it's best if they take you at the first appointment so have your realtor come sign you in and make sure that your realtor signs you in on the first visit or else they won't get paid what i love about new homes like i said is very simple you sign in and you get pre-approved with their own lender so the builder has their own list of lenders that they work with it just makes it a little bit more simpler uh, to work with they're more in communication with the builder and then there's also incentives so these clients actually got i think it was like three to four thousand dollars that they got in closing costs so that's actually uh, another benefit for clients or for you if you're looking to buy a new home make sure before that you first contact me to 
sign you in. So you, you get signed in, you get pre-approved, you would choose one of the models. This is actually the biggest model that there is. I think this one was a 2,300 square foot model. It's a five bedroom, three bath. It has two masters, one downstairs and one upstairs. So you choose a model that you want. Usually the builder will have a set of models in the very front of the community and you can choose which ones of the models you want and the very big selling point about this one is it's from a new home but there is no hoa completely free of hoa no hoa fees monthly fees or quarterly uh no sids and lids sids and lids so you pick your model. This one, you also get to choose your exterior, your paint, and you can't choose the colors that you want. You can only choose the different color schemes that they have. So they give you a, a workbook and they have you choose from the workbook, the different color schemes that you like. And then you pick one, you know, like this one, there's no HOA. So after the closing, my client's actually gonna paint this house a different color or the pop outs, they're gonna paint a different darker gray. But if it were to be in an HOA, you were not able to do that unless you get permission from the HOA. So that's the beauty of, of buying a house with, with no HOA. You can pick the different color schemes. After you pick the color schemes, that's when you go under contract. It's about this much of paperwork. Pretty, pretty hefty uh, amount of paperwork. But the beauty of it is the home builder and their assigned real estate agent actually does majority of the work. Us as traditional real estate agents, all we do is we just get to kick back a little bit and we relax. And then you also get to sell your client a good product, a, a new home that's not gonna have any issues. Sometimes I get calls from clients, hey Ricardo, this went out on the property or this or that. And that's what sucks about buying an older home. There's always little things that come out. But on a new home, for sure, at least for about 10 years, you're not gonna have any sort of issues. So once you go under contract, pretty much the builder will get in contact with the title company they're going to send a deposit so there is actually no home inspection to be completed the client may perform a home inspection on the property if they would like but they're just going to spend money and the reason is all of these homes have to be inspected by the city that they're being built so every phase of the build out there's actually going to be an inspection from the city and they're going to come with a checklist and make sure that everything is up to code. So that is one of the reasons why I feel you shouldn't do a home inspection on a new home. It's gonna be inspected by the city anyways, and it has to be up to code for it to be uh, transferred over to you in your name. There is though an appraisal that's completed on it, but usually majority of the new homes that I've sold almost all of the properties have appraised. There's a threshold that you don't wanna go above that. If there's anything above that that's not gonna be appraised, the buyer is responsible for paying. But what I suggest is go ahead and get the home just how it is. Don't do a lot of upgrades, but if you just wanna move in and spend a little bit more money, you have some more money to spend, go ahead and do it up front. But if you wanna save some bucks at the end, go ahead and get the home how it is. Uh, usually they come with carpets on the bottom and also on the upstairs and the bedrooms. Get the carpet, get a, a, about a year or two of use of the carpet. After that, remodel it the way that you want it to be. So that's one of the reasons why I love new homes as well. They do the appraisal, they do all that, and the realtors get to kick back and just uh, pretty much collect the check at the very end. I love to come to the last walkthrough uh, with my clients just to show a little bit of support, just to show them that, I, that, you know, that I'm there. Just wanted to share with you guys. If you have any other questions about real estate, don't forget to comment below. Uh, don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe as well. And let's finish off this tour. All right, guys. So we've talked about the blue tape. We talked a little bit about the home buying process when buying a new home compared to a traditional one. And I actually want to talk about a little bit about the appliances and my take on this new home. So we actually have Whirlpool appliances. The cooktop is very convenient. It's, it's easier to clean than other than the whole kitchen with the oven. But that's one of the reasons why I like this. And I actually prefer gas instead of electric. Uh, you can cook a little bit better with gas. So I'm definitely a big fan of the gas cooktop. Then over here we actually have, so it was my mistake. I thought we had two ovens, but we actually only have one oven. So instead of having your appliances your, your oven with the stove, with the cooktop, you actually have a separate area. And this is your oven right here. And then get this, this is actually your microwave. So this is the microwave part. 
So it's a little combo uh, piece that comes together. Absolutely love what they do. Uh, like I said, they've been a top home energy efficient for 12 years. I like their finishes and it's a very affordable home. Uh, that's what I love about Beezer. It's an affordable home for 2,300 square feet, five bedroom, two masters, three car garage, three bath. And I think it's very, it's still very affordable to, to be able to get into a new home. And like I said, you always still get the one year warranty on it. And then you get the 10 year structure of warranty after that. So that is the reason why I love new homes. So yeah. So now let's go ahead and go over to the master downstairs. So just a little features. If you didn't know when your home has an outlet that is actually switched upside down, it is actually meant for a lamp. So I see this one, this room actually has no room for lighting or for a fan, but you do have an area, like I said, any switch in any home that the switch is upside down, usually the switch right in the front of the door will be for that lamp. So carpet, I am actually not a big fan of carpet, but like I said, if you're buying a home, don't spend a lot in the upgrades. And then oh, a lot of people have been using that new, what's called luxury vinyl plank. And luxury vinyl plank, since this actually has a master uh, bathroom as well, you can actually run the luxury vinyl plank all the way through the closet to the bedroom and all the way to the master bathroom as well. And as you can see, it's pretty standard. I like this actually has enough room, you know, if you want to move around, you're not very closed in uh, for claustrophobic people from this side. But on this side, you do actually have a linen closet or a towel closet and fiberglass uh, showers are always good. They last a very long time. It is the, more, the most basic item that they do in the showers to, to make it live a little bit longer. They use a lot of the, of the fiberglass. So welcome to the master. This will be the official master, the bigger one. And as the previous master downstairs, you do have an upside down outlet. And then you also have two switches for your pre-wires for a ceiling fan. And you have one switch for the fan and then you have one switch for the light as well. So guys, I hope you found this video informative, whether you're thinking about buying a new home or a traditional home, you've seen a couple of differences. Uh, don't forget, if you have any questions, comment down below, or if you're thinking about buying, comment and like down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Superman of Real Estate, and we'll see you next time.